I won some really great things from some really awesome channels. And let me get my notes. I have to write it down. And I love every single one of you. And I have some things I need to get in the mail to people as well. I'm just gonna start, I guess, with the oldest. The one that I've been wanting to open like forever and ever. This one I won from Littlefoot Branch from my bestie Rebecca and her husband Doug. So I won a t-shirt. Anyway, I won a shirt and I'm putting my hand in there and it feels so soft. I feel so soft. I'm so excited about the shirt. I think we may have a wardrobe change for this video. Look at that. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Uh, and I may have ordered it a little too big. I know, I'm surprised that I don't know how to size myself. What is it? Okay, this is a 2X. Well, it could be my new sleep shirt. Anyway, I'm about to put it on, so hold please. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that kind of video. Okay. Ooh, maybe it's not too big. Ooh, maybe I'm bigger than I think I am. Okay. It's so soft and it's like stretchy. It's like spandexy. This is nice. This is nice. I need to um, work on my own merch. I don't know. I can't decide on a logo. I can't decide on imagery. I've been on Canva. Other people have been on Canva for me. It's like getting a tattoo, right? Like, I don't know. I don't have any tattoos because I don't know what I want on my body forever and I don't know what I want my channel logo to be. I have no idea. Anyway, second um, prizes that I won. This contest, I had to hustle. Like, I had to work to win these. Ryan Cook over at Heavenly Hills Homestead had a little friendly competition um, for some amazing prizes. And I actually was a little bit shocked that I won first place. I got to choose what I wanted and I don't remember what the other prizes were. I think there was some fertilizer and there were some uh, Epic Gardening six pack cell trays or something. Um, Ryan's been on Epic Gardening's podcast. I don't know if you know um, Kevin Espiritu. Hello, it just came to me. Kevin over at Epic Gardening. So Ryan was on his uh, podcast and I actually heard Ryan on the podcast before I even knew who Ryan was. So it was very fortuitous that I found his channel and ended up winning something. Anyways, long story I'm telling you. He was on um, Epic Gardening, their podcast discussing, you know, growing giant vegetables and things. So you really need to follow his channel and check him out because he's growing some giant things. I think that's amazing. So, and I want to thank all you guys for helping me. It's because of you guys that I won first place. A lot of you guys went over there and subscribed and really helped me uh, get over the top. So thank you guys so much for that. All right. So first prize here from Petra Tools. It's Fogger. How maze balls is that? So you can use this for um, like Captain Jack's dead bug brew. You can use it for compost tea or some other sort of foliar feed. You can use it just to mist your plants if you want them to stay misted and humidified like house plants and ferns and things. But it's an atomizer fogger, so it's gonna make a, a fogging mist. It's not gonna be like a wet, like with a spray bottle, like a wet spray. This is a fogger, so super jazzed about that. And I can use this outside or inside. The second one I'm super excited about because <laughs> It was something I was gonna buy for myself anyway if I hadn't won it, so, so. Monios L, it's a grow light. Grow light. Oh, okay, so these have instructions. I'm gonna have to read what's going on, but there we go. There's the grow lights. Like there's, there's some assembly required. <laughs> so, so, that's my prize winning there. And then, so, Andrea and Mike over at Digging for Health um, had a 1K giveaway, kind of a late 1K giveaway. Um, but they've, oh man, they've been put through the ringer with some health issues and I hope everything is better. Hopefully y'all are better by now. And I apologize it's taking me so long. 
Anyway. All right. So, prize pack number two consists of a beautiful gardening bag. This is going to come in so handy. Oh my gosh, look at all these pockets. The pockets go all the way around. Pocket, pocket, pockets. Pocket, pocket, pockets. I'm loving it. I'm loving this though. Okay. These intrigued me on her video because I had never heard of a bowl cozy. How cute is that? It's a bowl cozy. I'm guessing if you have a hot bowl, hot bowl of soup, hot bowl of chili, maybe a hot bowl of whatever out of the microwave, you can put it in this and not burn your hands. And look at that beautiful fabric. Bees in there. Be respectful, be honest, be positive. That's cute. That's cute. And the same outer fabric and then this inner fabric. It's just floral motif. Gorgeous. And we have, oh, this is the lavender sachet. Andrea said in her video that the bag smelled the plastic. The plastic smell of the bag was a bit strong. It didn't smell bad to me. Oh, that's good. I stuck that right up my nose. Some claw gloves. Oh, I can already tell these fit way better. The ones I got before, they came free with my sit kneeler bench and they were way too big for my hand. These fit way better. So, what is this? It's like a bees wax candle. That's cute. That looks like a little, little honeycomb. Cuteness. It's a set of tools. Cute, they match the bag. Look at that little weeder. Just pop it right out of there. The fork and the spade. Stick them in there. And then you go outside. You go outside and you handle your business. You just handle your business. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Andrea, look at this. I'm guessing these are some um, homemade goodies, like from some local artists. But look how cute is that? Look at this little girl bee. Stickers. So there's that one. Happy. And then. And then. So that's all of the other goodies. Now we have seeds. Woo! Look at all these seeds. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Old fashioned mustard. Fantastic. Ooh, corn. Eight row golden bantam. Crimson sweet watermelon. Bulls blood beets, I'm gonna try them again. I'm gonna try them again. I cannot grow a beet. And then welcome 29 broccoli, fantastic. I will take your seeds and I will grow them probably next year because I think I gotta quit at some point. I'm planting new things. Next, I have some mail call seeds. To start with friend Katie over at Mayfield Ranch. We do share a similar addiction, Katie. Yes, we do. Thank you for enabling me with more seeds. Rattlesnake pole beans, my favorite. Ahi lemon drop pepper, yum. Sugar rush peach, sugar rush peach. I've been dreaming about some sugar rush peach, thank you. And sugar pie pumpkin, thank you. So this next one is from Buddy Rick over at Welcome to My Cape Cod. Is it Welcome to My Cape Cod Live or Welcome to My Cape Cod Garden? Why don't I know? I think it's Welcome to My Cape Cod Live. Rick, sorry. <laughs> it's Welcome to My Cape Cod Live. Thank you for the sticker. I love this. Man, I need some merch. You guys are great. Thank you, Rick. So, I had asked for some fish pepper and Rick sent me some. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you. I am going to start these this year because I want to see them. Fish pepper have like a variegated foliage and I've been wanting to grow fish pepper for a couple of years. I mean, y'all are just making my dreams come true. Okay, this next one here is from my friend Kim over at Olive City Homestead. Kim puts out the best videos. I just, I 
just love her. Um, she's just easy to listen to. Like she can just walk me around her garden and I could listen for hours and hours. I just love her voice. She's just so kind and anyway, I'm bad with words, but Kim, you're wonderful. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for all of these. Oh, and look at that beautiful card. That lovely, that's gorgeous. Okay, so we have some seeds here. Ooh, this is herbal tea zinger hibiscus. Oh, these are the um, the roselle hibiscus, like what I grow, but I think these are a little bit different. Oh, that's that's exciting. That's exciting to try a different kind. Borage. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. <gasps> Wait. Wait, what are these? What are these? I don't know what these are. Marvel of Peru. Marbles mixed colors. What are those? Do you know what those are? Are they like four o'clocks or something? Are they like petunias? Hold on. Tender perennial, yellow, reds, oranges, and whites, each flower brilliantly striped and splashed with contrasting hues. But it doesn't tell me like what it is. I've never heard of, I've never heard of marble, of marbles. Apparently it's marbles. Well, that's fun, I love that. Oh, and then some purple Vienna kohlrabi. I love that seed packet too. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Next. Oh, <laughs> okay. Next. This is from Adrian over at Indiana Backyard Gardener. Um, she did a hashtag IBG 2023 seed swamp. Oh, and there's a thank you letter. Okay. So I will hashtag it. Do I make this a separate video? There's so many seeds in here. It just cut right here. <laughs> make this a separate video. It could happen. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know. If that's a separate video, then thank you so much for watching. If it is not, on to the next haul, y'all. Okay, so. While my stepdaughter Shelby was here, she stayed with us for like a month, like five weeks. It was amazing. We went shopping. Anyway, we went to Pop Shelf. We went to Ikea. And we went to Trader Joe's. My very first time at Trader Joe's ever. I had never been to a Trader Joe's and I felt so fancy. A lot of people look at me crazy when I say that because they're like, you think Trader Joe's is fancy? I'm like, yes. I shop at Walmart. Trader Joe's was fancy. So we went to Pop Shelf. And I got some cute cards. They had these uh, cards for like a dollar. And they have this one too. They have flowers on them, cute little gardening, like little sayings and motifs and things. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you because one of you might be getting one one day for me. Anyway, um, also apparently I'm into bud vases right now. And apparently I'm also into this green glass right now. I think it's lovely. Anyway, so this one was $3, it's not bad. This one's three dollars. I think this one's my favorite. Anyway, and then this one, a whole mass of things. Anyway, it's like frosted glass. It's pretty. This was five dollars. I know, I'm a little crazy. I got this sign. It was a little spendy. It was a little pricey, but it's tin. And this is tin. It looks like wood, but this is tin. It's all tin. So I'm gonna hang it over the potage. Uh, the pergola entrance. So I'm gonna hang it. It just says flowers and garden. It's twelve dollars. I know it's twelve dollars. That's <sighs> I can't be spending money on these things. Uh, next, we went to IKEA, and I just got a few things. I didn't get a whole lot at IKEA. It's not a like, IKEA. Is not like, IKEA used to be like my Disneyland. It used to be like my adult Disneyland. I could go in there and spend hours. It was not as. It was okay this time. It was okay. But I'm still into vases. 
I thought this was pretty. This was $2.99, so of course I had to get it. It's gonna be full of zinnias. Dude, I already have zinnias blooming. My first zinnias already bloomed, and this is what, March 21st? That's fun. I think these were like $3.99 or $4.99, anyway, they were really cheap. They're just these little jars, and what I wanna do is use them for when I pick my herbs and dry my herbs. And even like uh, if I dehydrate tomatoes, like make sun-dried tomatoes in the dehydrator, I just wanted some cute little jars. I got this thing. Four tier shelf. Little bitty, not real big. All the shelves have these holes. So all four shelves, there's gonna be holes in all the shelves. And I thought this would be nice for when I want to uh, put my seedlings outside, like to get some sun. They can be in their little cell trays or their little two inch pots. And I can just water the whole thing and the water will just go down to all the levels. But the everything can drip dry because there's holes all the way through. Anyway, I thought that was fun. That's, it takes so long to explain everything. Anyway, it's called the v Veskin and it was 15, $15.99, $15.99, $16 anyway. Well, that's not that bad, no. Mm. Anyway, we went to Walmart, picked up a few things, and of course, I had to look at seeds. I didn't get anything spectacular, but let me show you. Um, I got some more Petunia mixed colors because the ones that I already tried starting, um, and nothing came up. Not one. So, we're going to try those again. Got two packs of those. They were 20 cents each. Okay. I'm a little bit obsessed with peas right now because my peas are doing so good. It's, it's actually, it's getting too hot now to start peas, but what did I do? I bought more peas, I bought little marble peas. Um, a Cherokee wax bean. I bought a pack of these last year and I planted them and I got nothing. So I'm gonna try them again. They're 50 cents. I mean, I'm not spending a whole lot of money. Yeah, peas were 50 cents. Petunias were 20 cents, 50 cents. And then I got some white spine cucumber because they look like a pickling type. I want to try all the cucumbers which i'm going to get those uh going pretty quick i think um this coming weekend we will have a potager day where i take everything that's in this grow room and that's on the porch and we just put it in the ground um so that is my that's all my hauls that's all my hauls that's i think that's uh that's enough thanks so much for watching guys bye